Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPad, whichever one you have, to the latest iOS 10.3.2. Anyways, to get started, make your backup. So, go into settings. Under settings, you guys will see iCloud. So, iCloud is your first option up here. Or, if you guys are in the lower iOS, your iCloud will be down here somewhere. Um, regardless, make that backup just in case something happens. Make sure you have at least 50% of your battery, and I always recommend just to have it plugged in to some electricity just in case. So, uh, from there, just going to general. Under general, you guys will see your second option, which will be software update. Under that, um, this will just check for the update. You're, need, you're gonna need to click on download and install. So it's gonna download the update first. That shouldn't take more than 10 minutes max if you have really slow internet, five minutes average. And then once you click on install, it's gonna take about uh, five to 10 minutes on installing, okay? Um, it's just gonna turn your screen white, Apple logo, loading bar, and then that's it. That's gonna be pretty much it. It's gonna restart your iPhone, iPad, iPad Touch. In this case, this is an iPad. Um, and it's the same thing for all of them anyways. So once we click on install now, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna restart, white screen, Apple logo, loading bar, and that's it. Anyways, it's a really short, quick update. If you guys are updating from iOS 9, for example, to iOS 10, then I always recommend making that extra backup on your computer using iTunes, which is free for both PC and Mac. Um, right now, just make that backup that I told you guys about in iCloud, um, just just in case, just in case you guys have to restore. If you guys are stuck there, um, it's been two hours and it's still installing, or it's just a black screen, and unfortunately, you guys will have to restore. And if you guys um, can't restore for some reason, you guys might have to even go into DFU mode and then restore again. Anyways, hopefully none of that happens and everything installs all right for you guys and uh, that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you